Welcome to netfit.tv Pilates. We're here to motivate and dedicate you to live a healthy and vibrant lifestyle. My name is Megan and I'll be leading today's workout. I want to ask you real quick, what is your core? Your core is every muscle from your shoulders to your hip level, your front and your back. So we're going to start with some abs today and do a core series. Let's begin. I hope you're ready at home because I know we are. Come to the mat. We're going to be laying on our backs. We're going to start with what we call a double leg stretch. I want you to be flat on the floor. Hands come up at an angle. Arms are behind you. Nod and curl up. Bring that head up. Bring the legs up as well. We're making a big V with our body. Now swing your arms all the way around. Circle and hug it in. So extend, circle and hug it in. Are we ready? Here we go. Extend and hug. Now keep your core really tight here. Your chin's always up from your chest. Let me look at Carl for a moment. His ribs are down, this looks awesome. His chin's up from his chest. His head's in line with his body. This looks really good. Now if you can, point your toes for me. So, oh I'm sorry, so the lower you go, the harder it is. So the lower you can get to your floor, the better. We're gonna continue here. So I'm gonna curl up a little bit farther to make it harder and bring my legs down a little bit farther to make it harder. Five more. Four. Three. Don't forget to breathe. Two. And one. Good job, you guys. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. Now what we're gonna do is what we call rolling like a ball. So I want you to sit up as tall as you can. Open up that chest, which means squeezing your shoulder blades together. I'm going to bring my hands on the outside of my thighs, elbows are wide. Now bring your back into a C curve, feet come up, we're going to balance. All we're going to do is roll back as far as your shoulder blades and bring it right back up. Do not let those feet come down to the ground. We ready? Here we go. Roll back and pull it up. Don't let your head hit the floor, low back and up. Keep going. Now tuck your belly button in all the way to your spine. Now you can see Amber's not going too far back. Keep that belly button down. Ribs are tucked in. Where do you feel this? Right in there. Good. So Carl's coming up all the way. Notice his awesome C curve here. His spine's curved all the way down. Elbows are wide. He's always keeping his chin up. This looks awesome. And he's always focusing on his breathing few more here. Let's do three more. Focus on your balance. The better your core is, the better your balance is. And one. Good job, you guys. Now we're going to do what I call a rock and roll series. This is my favorite abdominal workout. So we're going to be kind of in the same position, sitting up as tall as you can. Same thing. Arms are wide, elbows are wide. We're gonna come into a C curve. Now I like to say you're gonna try to get the back of your elastic in your pants all the way down to the floor. All we're gonna do is start to rock like this. Are you ready? Rock with me here. So your belly button's a sinkhole. It's sunk all the way down. Try to keep your shoulders from coming up around your ears. Deep breathing. Now, if you're okay here, I want you to bring up your right leg, point your toe. Only if you're comfortable. If you're not, that's okay. This takes time to master. Now if you're okay here, bring up your right arm. Reach, keep rocking, breathe. If you're okay here, bring up that left arm. Reach, good job you guys. Four seconds, three, two, now put that leg down, but stay low. We're not coming out of this position. We're always gonna be really low here. Deep breath, pull that belly button in. Okay, if you're okay here, left leg now. Point that toe, rock, keep rocking. If you're okay here, left arm, same angle. Reach up to the ceiling. If you're okay here, right arm, hold it here. Keep going. Stay low, four, Three, two, back to your center, but don't come up. Stay low. I know you want to. Don't let yourself do it. Now take both hands, 
Take them to the outside left thigh. Turn and look to your left. We're rocking a little bit to the side now. Elbows are wide. Where are your shoulders? Make sure they're not around those ears. If you're okay here, left leg up. Rock. Keep going. Looking good. How are we doing? Good. Okay, four seconds here. If you're okay here, left arm. This is a challenge. If you're okay here, right arm. Let's twist. Let's do seven more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to your center. Stay low. We're almost done. We're almost done. Here we go. Both hands to the right. We got to even out those abs. Look to your right. Look all the way to your right. Rock it out. Right leg up. Now if you're okay there, right arm. If you're okay there, left arm. Twist it out. Let's do eight, seven, six. Get lower. Five, four, three, two. Back to your center. Don't come up yet. Here we go. We're going to bring both hands. Take them off. This is all in your abs. Take them to your tummy. Just give me 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. Great job, you guys. Four, three, two, one, and release it all the way down. Excellent work. Take a breather, stretch it out. Look all the way to your left. And look all the way to your right. Very, very good. All right, hug your knees into your chest for me. We're gonna shoot our legs up towards the ceiling, nice and straight. Arms are down and flat on the floor for support. Now I want you to, head comes up, look forward. If you can't bring your head up, that's okay. Grab behind that right leg and lower the left. It's just gonna hover right above the ground. All I want you to do is start to pull it up. Up, good, just like that. Very nice. So you can see here, Amber's head isn't up. She doesn't wanna strain her neck. But she can lower this a little bit further, perfect. Try to keep this leg straight, toes pointed. Good job. Shoulders are down. So Carl's doing it a little bit harder here. His head's all the way up. The farther you can come up, the harder this is. So even if you could reach up a little bit higher here, there you go, now pull it in. Keep those ribs down and make sure this isn't touching. It's right above the ground. Good job, you guys. Just a few more here. We're gonna switch it and do the other side. Now here we go, bring those legs together. Right leg down, left leg up, same thing. We got this. We're blasting those abs. Don't let that belly button come up, keep it down. Sucked all the way down to your spine. I'm gonna come up a little farther. Take a deep inhale, we're almost there. Keep that head up, keep the pressure in your abs so you don't strain your neck. Now we're gonna start to scissor, so stay up here, same position, we're just gonna lower, lower. Keep those toes pointed, legs as straight as you can. Good job. Give me 10, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And try to stay up here with me. Don't let that head drop. We're gonna do some single leg stretches. So just pull one in, elbows are wide, and then switch, pull the other one in. Keep that head up. Nice and slow at first. Point those toes. Elbows are wide. Light fingers, remember this is all on your abs. Curl up a little farther if you can. All right, let's speed it up, double time. Go, go, go. Good job. Good job, you guys. 20 seconds. Now, if you wanna add something, bring those arms up. Reach up towards the ceiling. It's a little bit harder. Last five, four, three, two, one, and relax. You can take a little water break if you need to, regain your posture, focus on your breathing. Always be focusing on your breathing throughout every exercise. You wanna fill your rib cages completely full of air and blowing it all out. So let's begin with some more. So we're gonna do classic hundreds. 
My favorite, one of my favorites, we're gonna come down, rest your hands on the floor to start. I want you to bring them up into tabletop with those legs, which is 90 degrees here. Now curl up your head and look forward. The arms are gonna come up, they're just gonna hover, we're gonna start to bounce them as fast as we can. Now why we call the 100, we're gonna take five breaths in through the nose, and five out of the mouth. And we're gonna repeat. We're just gonna keep doing that as fast as we can. Are we ready? Here we go. Now, to make this harder, you can extend your legs out straight. And the further you can curl up, the better. Let's take a look at Amber. How are we feeling? Oh, it's burning. Let me hear you exaggerate your breath. So five in and five out. This is really important here. Blow every breath. This is a perfect 90 degree angle, a good job. This looks perfect. Keep it going. Can you come down a little farther? You can do it, good. Point those toes if you can, good. This is perfect. Let me hear those breaths a little bit more, come on. Almost done, we're almost there. Last 20 breaths. And hug it in, relax. Excellent work. Now I want you to come over, we're gonna actually roll over onto our stomachs. Bring your hands directly under your shoulders. We're gonna do a little cobra up just to stretch out those abs for a second. Keep your elbows a little bit bent, tucked in by your side. Now tuck your toes under. And we're gonna come up into a plank. So I want you to be on a, a plank so your hands are directly under your shoulders here. Your bottoms are down, abs are tight, flat back. Now all we're gonna do is come down onto our forearms, left first, right second, and then back up. We're gonna repeat that. Down, down, up, up. All with a tight, tight core here. Up, up. So we're doing the left side first. And then we'll switch and we'll start with the right. So let's do right down, down, up, up. Keep going. Okay, now here Carl needs to bring this down a little bit more. I don't wanna see those booties up. They need to be down. Nice flat back here. Perfect. His head's in line with his body. He's looking down. Everything's really tight. Good. Down, down. Make sure you're switching. You're going from the right to the left and then the left to the right. Almost done. Nice and slow. Keep it tight. Almost there. Let's do four more. Four. Down. Three. Down. Two. Down. And one. And just lower yourself gently down to the mat. That's great, you guys. It's one of the best things you can do for your abdominals. So now we're gonna come back up into our plank. Just take a deep breath for me first. Blow it all out. Bring your hands directly under your shoulders. We're gonna tuck our toes under and come back up onto our hands. Now make sure you're not up here, you're right here. We're gonna take our right knee and just pulse it in, right in. You ready, here we go, right knee in. Bring it in towards your chest. Good. Stay there. Now if this is too difficult, you can always just be this, you can have this knee down here. There you go. And try to keep it a little bit more even there. Great. This looks good, her abs are tucked in. She has a good flat back. 10 seconds on the right side. And we're gonna switch it over to the left. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch left knee in. Try to stay strong, don't let it fall down. I'm gonna do it with you. Here we go, left in. Keep your head in line with your body. Don't forget to breathe. I remind, I remind that a lot, but people really do forget to breathe. Here we go. 
30 seconds. Count with me, last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Release it down gently, good job. Take a deep breath and roll over onto your back. We're gonna do some roll-ups. So everything's completely flat, your feet are flat, everything's flat on the floor. Bring your arms over, reach the wall behind you. Stretch out your spine for a moment. Elongate your whole body. Take a deep inhale. On your exhale, your hands are gonna come up. Your head follows. I want you to sit up as tall as you can. Reach towards those toes, bend over. Bring it back up and then slowly curve it back down. One vertebrae at a time comes on the mat. You guys ready? Here we go. Up, sit up, and reach. Tuck it under. Every vertebrae should be hitting that mat before you bring your hands over. Good job, let's do it again. Up. Carl's very good at this. He's very flexible. Most people can't reach his t their toes as far as Carl can. Good job, make sure you're sitting up really straight here. Bend it over, he's curving, perfect. Sit back up tall and every vertebrae at a time. Perfect, Carl, that's awesome. Keep going. How are you feeling? Good. How are you guys feeling at home? I can do this all day. I love this one. Bring it down. Good job, Amber, that was beautiful. We just have a few more here. Let's do three more complete. Focus on your form. You should feel a little more limber than you felt at the beginning of class. Reach. One more. The more you can control it down, the better. Very good, you guys. Hug your knees into your chest. Pull both legs to the right, look all the way to your left. Back to center, pull both, both, both to the left, look all the way to the right. All right, feet are flat on the floor, knees are bent. We're gonna do some teasers. So this is what it looks like. Arms come back over, just like we were before. Stretch it out. Now arms come up, head follows. But this time we're curling all the way up and we're bringing up one, just one leg at a time. Reach, we're gonna hold it there and then slowly bring it back down. So we're gonna do both legs. So we're gonna begin with the right and then we'll do the left. You guys ready? Here we go. Up, reach, four, three, two, and release. And left side now, up. Now if you can't get up all the way, that's okay. And release. It's okay just to come right here. But reach as far as you can and release. Let's see what Amber's got. That's great, so she's holding her leg for support. She's not coming up as far, but she's helping herself with that little hold there. Up, left side. Good, nice pointed toe. One more time. Now look where she's looking. It's perfect. Her chin's up from her chest. Now if you're feeling like you can do anything right now in Pilates, I want you to do both legs. So bring up the right. If you're feeling really good, bring up the left. Hold it there for me. Here we go. Hold. Give me 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two. Excellent job, Carl. That was impressive. Good, good job. Okay, so the last exercise of the day, all I want you to do is hug your knees into your chest and bring your hands right under your, the back of your the back of your tailbone there. All right, legs come up towards the ceiling. Point your toes. We're just gonna lower both legs down nice and slow. The slower the better here. And when you get to the point where you can't go any farther, bring it back up quickly. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, bring those, those hands out. 
It's harder with no hands for support. So if your back starts to arch, that means you're going too far. So make sure your backbone's completely flat on the mat here. When your back starts to arch, that means it's time to come back up. Good job. And try only to come back up to your center. So go down. And just right here. Good. Nice and So we're going slow down and quickly back up. Slow down. And quickly back up. Good job. Perfect. Just a few more here. This is not easy. Keep those toes pointed. Let's just do four more. Three. Relax those shoulders, breathe. Two. And one. Hug your knees into your chest. Excellent job, you guys. Thank you for your hard work. Your, strong, your core isn't just your stomach, it's your back, your shoulders, it's not just your abs. So a strong core decreases your muscle aches and pain, so stick with it. You guys did an excellent job today. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, reach your personal best.